Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Excuse how crazy I look. Um, sorry, let me move these over here where I can reach them. And knock them over, like always. Um, but anyways, today I'm going to do um, some underrated scents that I have in my collection. Um, Liliana Joy, um, actually, I got the idea from her. She had done a video with, um, underrated scents. So, these aren't necessarily underrated by me, but I don't see very many people talking about them. I've talked about them quite a bit, so I'm not going to, like, talk a whole, whole lot about them in this video because most of them are some of my top scents, actually. I guess that's how it is because a lot of us probably feel that way that our favorites are underrated by other people. But without further ado, we're going to get into it. The first one I have is Blush Cardigan, which is Sweet Raspberry, Sugar Dip Violet, and Warm Amber. I don't hear very many people talk about this scent. And I think what it is with this scent is it came out... <laughs> my nose has been itching so bad the last couple days. The last video I filmed, it was itching too. Um, but I think the problem with this scent is it came out in the same collection as Wrapped in Vanilla. And that was such a beloved scent that a lot of people don't really think about Blush Cardigan. Um, which I loved Wrapped in Vanilla too. But this is such a good scent. And it's so strong. It's just a really good deep raspberry scent. thought it fell over. Um, the next one is Rainbow Waves. It's Sunny Sangria, Bright Melon, and Misty Waters. This is like one of my favorite fresh scents. And it's so good. I've said before, it reminds me of a Calgon scent from back in the day. And I have no idea which one it was. But this is such a pretty scent. And I don't really hear a whole lot of people talk about this one either. Um, I have heard people talk about it, but not as much as it deserves in my opinion um the next one is papaya paradise cove this one is fresh papaya star fruit water honeysuckle passion flower and amber um they brought back underwater oasis which was in this collection but this one was i haven't actually haven't tried pink coconut calypso which was also in that collection i haven't been able to get my hands on it so i'm not sure if I would like that one better than this one, but I doubt it. Like, this is, it's a light scent for sure, but it's so pretty. Um, and all of these scents are scents that they have not brought back. Like, that was another key to it being underrated. Because Bath & Body Works underrates its own scents. But that's a good one as well. I've noticed, too, looking at these, most of these are, like, summery, fresh scents. I feel like... A lot of the um, gourmand type scents and winter scents, like they're not underrated. Like Bath and Body Works doesn't bring them back for whatever reason, but they're not underrated because gourmands are such a loved thing. Um, so there's no gourmands in here. But anyways, the next one is going to be Pink Tie-Dye. It is Pink Lady Apple, Water Lotus, and Cotton Blossom. Another one that I don't really hear. A lot of people talk about and it's such a pretty scent like the only time I ever hear people talk about this is in like collection videos and of course I mean people like it but as far as in videos that I watch where like bring this scent back type videos I don't think I've ever seen this in one of them and it would be such a good scent to bring back like and it was in a collection with um, Endless Weekend and Cotton Candy Clouds, which are two scents that they've consistently brought back. Um, so that's another reason why I say that that one is underrated and that I think people forget about it. Um, the next one, Endless Sea. I've already said that this is an underrated scent before. It's Fresh Bergamot, Saltwater Lily, and Ocean Driftwood. I'm not sure. Um, it's a newer scent, so of course people have talked about it, but I don't hear people talk about it enough, in my opinion. Such a good scent. 
Um, next, I have Midnight Swim, which is Blue Waters, Beach Flower, Fresh Coastal Air. Another one that the only time I hear people talk about it. It smells so good, like a luxury swimming pool or something. But the only time I hear people talk about it is in collection videos, which, oh, they have brought this scent back, though, actually. They've done this scent twice, I think. So I broke my own rule. But again, I don't really hear people talk about this. So um, next I have Gingham Fresh, which is Juicy Pear, Sparkling Clementine, and Fresh Daisies. Um, I think with this one, like everybody raved about um, Vi Gingham Vibrant and Gingham Gorgeous, that this one got kind of pushed to the back burner a little bit since it came out with that collection. Um, another one that would have been good to put in it is Heart of Gold because I feel like those two are my favorite ginghams and they are the two most underappreciated ginghams. Um, I hear people talk about blue and red more than they talk or love and just regular gingham more than they talk about Heart of Gold. And again, they talk about gingham vibrant and gingham gorgeous, which is two scents that I've decluttered from my collection. I didn't care for them more than they talk about this one. And again, it's a newer scent too, so um, another one is Emerald Mist, which is Fresh Rainfall, Sunkissed Pear, and Blonde Woods. This was just kind of a really, it's a different kind of scent. And it dries down like different than the initial spray. Um, but it's another one, like I, it's a newer scent, so I get it. Like people aren't going to really rave about them wanting them to bring it back because we just got to experience it. But I don't hear anybody, like I feel like when I hear people talk about this one, they say it's forgettable. And I didn't think it was forgettable. I really like it. I wish I would have gotten more than just one. I've been looking on Mercari, but no luck. Um, the next one is Twinkling Nights. Frosted Jasmine Petals with Vanilla and Mandarin Blossom. Shaughnessy actually talks about this one a lot. She's the one that raved about it and got me to try it out. And it's so good. Like, you hear people talk about Into the Night. You hear people talk about In the Stars. Um, a Thousand Wishes. But this one, I feel like they should have made part of their core perfumey collection. Like those are. Because it is so pretty. That vanilla in it lightens it up. Um, but yeah, that would fit right in with those. And I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Probably because they ain't got no sense, but it's fine. Um, the next two are Victoria's Secret and Pink. Um, I want to talk about Radiant Berry, which is White Raspberry Creamy Woods. I don't hear anybody talk about this. I got this on Mercari with some other scents that I was getting. And this is like one of the best, I've said it before, one of the best berry scents that you will ever find. Because it's sweet and woody. Um, but it isn't offensive at all. And we all know Victoria's Secret don't bring their scents back, so obviously they haven't brought it back. But again, I haven't really heard anybody talk about it. And then we have, lastly, Mango Glow. Pink Sea Salt and Sweet Mango. Best mango scent you will ever find. It's a salty mango. And it's so good. It is so good. Such a good, like, I have quite a few mango scents in my collection, but this blows them all out of the water. It's great for summer. So that is all that I have for this video. Um, pretty quick video, to the point video. Um, it was just something that I thought was fun, so I went through my collection and pulled out a couple that I thought were underrated. Um, we're all going to have different opinions on that because we all have different preferences and that's what this really breaks down to. Um, like I said, I feel like we're all going to think that the scents that we love are underrated because we love them so much. Um, you have your universally loved scents, of course, but, but yeah, that is all I have for you guys in this video. I appreciate you all watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you'd like, and you all have a good day. Thank you.